Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Kelsey Wells' power program and power at home, so stay tuned! So today I'm going to be reviewing Kelsey Wells' power program. She has power in the gym, which is just called power. She has power at home, power post-pregnancy, as well as power zero equipment. You can find all of her programs within the Sweat app. It is very inexpensive. You can either do annual or monthly or like quarterly. Tons of payment plans. Anyways, I'll put a little picture here of the payments, but that's not what we want to talk about. We want to talk about the programs. So first up on the docket is her original power program. It is 60 weeks long. Kelsey released her power program in December 2017 into the Sweat app. April 19th, 2021, she's going to be releasing power 5.0, which will bring her power programming up to 60 weeks. So when you start in power, in the power program, it has four beginner weeks which will ease you into the programming, get you used to the layout of the programming and how Kelsey will take you through each workout. And when I started the power program, I had never really worked out in a gym properly, like really following a program before. So I found it very helpful. I was like, I was progressing through more intermediate and advanced skills and I didn't even realize it. So it is very progressive. It builds on itself very nicely and complimentary that you won't even realize that you are progressing and advancing as well as you are. So. Once you get fully into the meat, like the meat and potatoes of it, you will see that there is six resistance workouts a week. Four are mandatory or required to meet your quota for that week. And then the two are extra or bonus additional. Each power session is about 45 minutes to 55 minutes. I believe as the program uh, works its way up, it might start at a little bit less, say like 30 to 40 minutes and then it will slowly gradually go up, but typically they're not longer than 60 minutes. Um, the cap for the longer days, like the legs might be 55 to 60 minutes. So I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about what sweat program should I do for fat loss or what sweat program should I do to burn fat and build muscle. Any program within the sweat app, if you follow it consistently, will give you those results. Um, Kelsey's power programs do boast a high intensity hypertrophy based workout. So hypertrophy training is muscle building training. So you're going to build lean muscle mass while at the same time having that high intensity will be burning the fat tissue. As the weeks progress in the power program, you'll notice that the amount of cardio will be dropping. Like say the amount of days that it's requesting you to go for a run or go for a walk or bike or you name it. The cardio is going to be decreasing because that's going to be replaced by more resistance training days. I followed the power in the gym program for almost three years. I was 130 weeks or so following the power programming. With the say 130 weeks that I was in, that was also including last year, 2020, when you couldn't leave your house. I'm not gonna say why, we all know. I actually switched programs because Kelsey and the sweat team put out all their at-home programs, which were seriously game-changing. It's time for power. Okay, so Power at Home was game changing for everybody last year who was part of the Sweat app. It allowed us to continue our high intensity training while being at home and using minimal equipment. Right now, there are 40 weeks of Power at Home training. Um, I was reading one of Kelsey's blog posts recently and she said, Power at Home is not secondary or less than power. It is designed to match the intensity, if not surpass it, because it has a higher car cardio component with less rest periods and more uh, work periods. So the way Kelsey broke down power at home is there is a full body workout day, which I honestly really like to kick off my week with a strong full body day. I just feel like it gets everything moving and it feels good. So she has a full body day and then she has the standardized muscle splits full or like a full body muscle split throughout the week. Same thing with power at the gym, power at home, drops the cardio, increases the resistance days as it progresses but it still maintains that high intensity throughout the workout. So with the power at home, you're still gonna be seeing the activations, the circuit and the superset and trisets. The circuit is what's gonna get you like so, it's intense. 
So you have three exercises, it's time. So you got Kelsey in here, she's going, okay, you have 30 seconds to do push-ups, done, ding, ding. You have 30 seconds to do burpees. Okay, done, ding, ding. You got 30 seconds to do, I don't know, shoulder press or something. And you cycle through that for the amount of reps or time that she has you on. And it's exhausting, it's so good. It really kicks up the intensity for the cardiovascular portion to really get your heart rate up and keep it up for the whole workout, which was phenomenal for at-home results. So same thing with power at home as with power in the gym. Within week five, you're gonna see the burnouts being added into the workouts. And same thing, same idea. You're gonna roast one body part that you've been working on throughout that workout and you're just gonna burn. As well with the power at home, you have the four beginner weeks uh, to ease you into the program, to get used to the programming, to get used to how you train, how it's laid out. With power at home, you can use minimal equipment. I did all of the power at home weeks with a 30 pound dumbbell that I borrowed from my neighbor and I held hostage for way too long two 10 pound dumbbells, a crap ton of resistance band, whether it's a loop of a resistance band or just like the, you know, the open-ended resistance band. Kelsey says you can use resistant tubes. She uses those, those are great too. Um, any kind of resistance band will increase the intensity and give you some resistance to work with. The power at home is about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the day and the muscle split. But generally the power at home is a little bit quicker, higher intensity, you get in, you get out, you get done. So you're looking to burn body fat, you're looking to increase your lean muscle mass to get that toned, strong look. Power and power at home are gonna yield you those results. You're gonna find results as long as you stay consistent, use progressive overload within your training. So that means as you get stronger and you progress through the program, you add on more weight or more resistance and that stress to your muscles is what's going to challenge them and change them and encourage them to grow. So I had such amazing progress with Kelsey's power programs. That is why I'm such a big advocate for them. It is such a simple, straightforward, easy to follow program that will really provide you with amazing results if it is consistently followed. She has done such an incredible job of putting those, these programs together that I, I recommend power to everybody who's looking to start working out or want something new in the gym because no matter where you're at with your fitness journey or your physical fitness with what you're lifting or what you're doing, it will challenge you because it will meet you where you are, if that makes sense. Power will meet you with the results and where you are in your life or where you are with your fitness and it will push you because what's heavy to me might not be heavy to you and vice versa. So you need to lift for you. So the biggest difference between power in the gym and power at home is the amount of equipment that you have available that you're gonna be using, the amount of jumping around that you might be doing. Power in the gym is a little bit more weight-based and machine-based because that's what it's designed for. And power at home is gonna require more body weight movements, more plyometrics. So that's a more of a jumping movement or a bouncing, rebounding movement. Another big difference between the two programs is where power has the pyramid section, power at home has the circuit section. That's how it keeps the intensity up. What programs did you choose? Well, ask yourself, how much equipment do you have available? Do you want to commute to a gym? Because that might be one of your deciding factors. How much time do you have available? Both programs are going to yield you results if followed consistently. You can't go wrong with picking one. You can always bounce in between both of the programs they are very well integrated together Kelsey has done a really good job uh, with matching all her programs up so that if you say one day do have access to a gym that if you're doing power at home you can just go into the sweat app you can pick a different day you can pick a different workout and you can integrate that into your program and substitute one of your workouts or vice versa when I started uh, working out with power. I had no experience with a proper program and, you know, proper exercising with progressions and, you know, it nicely integrated and all put together. So when I started working out with power, I was about 30 pounds heavier than I am now. I can put a picture if you want here. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> 
And that was my first experience with working out and deciding that, you know, I want to be fit now. I'm tired of always being super sick and lethargic and just feeling so gross on the inside because my body was so upset and fighting itself all the time because I wasn't leading a healthy life. I wasn't putting myself first and doing those things that you need to try to be as optimal as you can. My first year of working out, I had quite a bit of those newbie gains that you hear about because your muscles have never experienced this before and they just grab the gains as fast as they can and you notice immense body recomposition, which is amazing. So if you're new to working out, stick with it. The results you're waiting for and you're just like, the results you're searching for, they're coming. Just keep at it. Okay, you have to be persistent. Don't give up. If you took a break or you gave up, just hop back on and keep going, okay? Just keep going. So my favorite part about the power program was seeing how much my body changed throughout um, all the power 1.0234. It was incredible. I never expected my body to change. I never expected to grow muscles, to have like shapely muscles, to recomposition. Like body recomposition is crazy. You can go from having all your weight in one area and then your muscles develop and your fat cells and whatever area the, your body likes to hold it into they shrink they get smaller they close up and just the the recomposition is incredible i had crazy saddlebags at one point like you know like on the side <laughs> and you know they slimmed down okay thanks for watching guys i am recording this on my phone because i'm just fighting with my camera today let me know what you think in the comment box below or hit me up on instagram to let me know what you think I always love hearing your feedback and what you think of these videos because it is actually really nerve wracking making videos and posting them online for everybody to watch and like, you know, your family to watch and make fun of you. But I also have had so many people reach out to me and thank me for videos like this. So I just really appreciate it. It's, it's terrifying. So if you enjoyed this video and you found some valuable information coming out of it, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Um, subscribe to my channel if you find value in the videos. So thank you for watching. Thank you for staying, staying tuned this long and we'll see you later.